Once upon a time, in the middle of the 2050s, along the Oslo Fjord, there was a large community of digital equipment for constructions. Among the many machines, a young truck mixer named TM63X, nicknamed Betty, was living there. Betty was a fully digital-born machine equipped with the latest state-of-the-art setup for any task, capable to deliver any type of concrete within a radius of 100 kilometers around its community. Its life was very happy since it was surrounded with many good friends. Most of the other truck mixers in the fleet were young and all of them self-driving and fully digitalized. Every day the washing shift, at the end of the deliveries, was a kind of party until the time of refueling and recovery into the garages. All of them were driving continuously between a network of batching stations where they could meet many interesting vehicles such as strong wheel loaders and big aggregate trucks. The scheduling centres were also very good and patient, providing each machine with a lot of instructions and detailed suggestions to plan the logistics according to the weather and the traffic, making life easy. One day, Betty was loading at one peripheral batching station with a complicated formula and dispatched to the site according to the detailed schedule for its shift. It was a special duty within the project for the construction of a large spherical water reservoir. The structure was designed with 10,000 cubic metres of lightweight self-compacting concrete to be placed continuously. When approaching the pump and the drone which were completing the placement of the previous truck mixer, Betty's control system received suddenly an emergency stop through the connection of an old iPhone 25. Surprisingly, there was a human being on the job site interfering through his smartphone with the ongoing pouring sequence because he was concerned about the slump of the concrete carried by Betty. This was very strange because none of the sensors on board of Betty's drum were alerting any issues and the load was perfectly matching the remote control at the batting station all along the road. Old man moved on his drone nearby Betty's wheels, disactivated the self-driving mode with its phone, then he flied on top of the drum where the slump detecting sensors were installed. Smoothly he removed a green leaf which was mysteriously covering the entire surface of the sensor. Suddenly a list of alarms started warning the whole system from Betty's board to the batching station up to the scheduler and the engineering firm. Now the whole system was detecting a much drier concrete than the specifications, as the old human concrete expert had suspected. The next day, a general summit of the Construction Digital Equipment Community was called in Oslo. The main community control system, in agreement with the scheduler, proposed to cut all the trees which were planted in the surrounding of all the batching stations of the city. The only representative of human intelligence attending the summit by law raised his veto and locked the meeting. He requested a revision of the artificial intelligence routines to refine the codes for the respect and the preservation of natural resources 
even when interfering with the community scheduled activities. Since that time, concrete is considered one of the most sustainable materials in the world.